Hello lovely people. I welcome you once again to Bright and Clara's channel. Thank you for clicking. This is episode 16 on Mr. Stephen and Esther's project. This is a five bedroom house located at Elmina KEEA. Apparently we are working on the decking. So in your view is a beautiful five bedroom house. This is a 3D three dimension. Mr. Frank Hammond is an electrical engineer. I'm going to stress on this because sometimes, I don't know, some people don't even watch the video. They just skip, 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 and then come and ask questions. So please watch the video and understand my words perfectly. Mr. Frank Hammond is an electrical engineer certified from the Ghana Institute of Engineers. You understand? So if you're looking for a qualified electrical engineer, you contact Mr. Frank Hammond. That being said, he is well versed in structural engineering. He has a firm that does architectural drawings. The company is for Mr. Frank Hammond and they do structural drawing as well. And therefore, should you need any design, you can as well contact Mr. Frank Hammond because he's the one in charge of the firm. You understand? So when it comes to electrical wiring, you contact Mr. Frank Hammond for all of that. The American 110 220 system, okay? And then also air conditions from ducting air condition, split air condition, and cassette recess, all of that Mr. Frank Hammond will do for you. In your view is a total breakdown of the entire cost of the project. This does not include the finishing. This is just from the blog work all the way to the roofing stage. We've been paid for foundation, superstructure, decking, and first floor. So that is what we are working on now. And apparently we are on the decking. The decking is a first floor form work. In episode 14, we started with the form work with Joshua Adam, a carpenter. And then moving on to episode 15, the still bender or the still fixer, Isaac Gomado did the magic. And then now moving on to episode 16, we have the plumber and Mr. Frank Hammond, the electrical engineer, doing the magic. In your view, you have Mr. Isaac Opoku. That's where we bought all our woods. In case you need wood, plywood, okay, sawmill, wallboard, doors and door frames, um, bush cut wood, all type of wood, contact Mr. Isaac Opoku. All right, so in your view, you can see the form work is completely done. The still bending works neatly done. The weaving is neat. And then my plumber went in, Mr. Frederick Owusu. He did all the plumbing works. We are using pressure pipes, pressure pipes all the time. I keep stressing on it. That's for ventilation. Okay, yes. There are rain gutters everywhere, okay? And all these need to be pre-discussed, you know, before concrete is cast. Most people finish their work and then later they figure out, oh, where are we gonna fix the pipe? Then, then you see pipe hanging on the wall. We don't do this in the 21st century. Before you do anything, consult. So who Nimukrana Bisa? You understand, you don't have to use your own imagination, no. You should ask because there are so many ways in doing things. So find out before you do any casting. You understand? Uh -huh. Rain gutters, um, and WCs, waistline, everything should be done properly with good quality pipe. Interplast, yes, it should be done neatly. You understand? Everything should be done with a professional. The drawing is there, go through the drawing. The plumber has to take complete measurement, make sure he takes the room sizes in consideration, the block size and everything so that he can position his pipe. You just don't get up and put the pipe, no. It has to go through measurement and he must have the plan, the building plan. You understand? Uh -huh. That is how we work. So all the pipes have been positioned and slope. You see them as though they're just lying down. No, it has been sloped. You understand? There's a slope in there. So all these have been taken into consideration. Are you with me? Yes, he's showing us the mark. Yes, he's taking a complete measurement by taking out the room and then the block size and then he can get the bathroom size and then also position his pipe. Are you with me? And all these, if you don't have the knowledge, you don't know. Myself, like I said, I, am an, uh, I did electrical and instrumentation. That is my field. I did electrical engineering at Takwadu Polytechnic and I did my instrumentation at the Regents University with affiliation to Kwame Nkrumah University. So my certificate for my bachelor's degree as an instrumentation engineer is coming from Kwame Nkrumah University. 
but you see i'm very well knowledge in construction and i know everything not to the hundred percent but at least 99 percent i know do you understand that is why i'm able to have optimal command i have total command when i'm speaking i know exactly what i'm talking about are you with me yes so please when the video comes take your time watch the video don't skip the video and then in the same video i've said so many things i'm the type i'm a good communicator and i like giving commentary so i take my time to explain things but if you don't listen to the videos and take your time and watch and you skip them and you ask me questions that i know are already in the video in fact i will not mind you me if you cry so please take your time and watch the video don't skip them okay so that is a gata the plumbing works for the gata have been done at the same time the ele my ele electrical engineer is also working so these two people can work uh, together once the steel bender is done plumber and electrical engineer can work together because they are all piping works are you with me so you can see mr frank hammond and his team are there and then fixing all their pipes in, in laying all those pipes they have to put what we call spaces spaces are just like normal stones we put underneath the rebars to suspend them so that the pipes can move freely so that it doesn't compress the electrical pipes the electrical pipes are positioned into place so that they don't move prior to casting because once they shift the circular bus shift then you dislocate the position of the light in bedrooms we position ceiling fans in the living room we don't put ceiling fans that is our ideology when you put a ceiling fan in a hall um, it takes away the beauty because you may have your pop design or plasterboard and then you have a ceiling fan running in the middle it takes away the beauty because once there's a ceiling fan the question is where are you going to position the chandelier because chandeliers you know based on their design and the beauty putting a ceiling fan next to it takes away the beauty you can see mr frank hammond designed everything the layout is neat superb there's no mistake you understand so if you have mr frank hammond doing your electrical wiring you see it is based on experience the knowledge gained and knowledge acquired you understand we have knowledge gained and knowledge you acquired okay experience gain let me put it that way and knowledge acquired so you need such people on your project because when he's coming he's not coming just as an electrical engineer he's coming as a whole package you understand he's coming as a whole package he sees something he tells you man this is wrong this should have been done this way i mean he sees the carpentry work he tells you no this should have been done that way so you need this kind of person on your project you don't joke with Mr. Hammond at all. He's not a small boy. You don't joke with him at all. He's coming and you will love him forever. You understand? Yes, we establish a family. Not just come and work and go take money. We establish a relationship. A relationship that goes beyond just working. You understand? And that is why I value whatever I say on my channel. I'm so passionate about it. I'm very passionate. Because I feel it. The sentiment. The struggle that we go through when we are outside and we send money home and people eat the money and so i have become an embodiment where i stand in between these two people i says give me your money let me build your house for you and you'll be safe you understand i stop all these bad guys and so please take your time if you have any questions make sure you watch the video and then you direct your question and then i'll give you an answer are you with me take your time watch the video are you with me take your time in a nutshell if you need our help we are always available are you with me you can contact mr frank hammond okay he's the man that trained me mr frank hammond i got my training from mr frank hammond when i was a kid so you can imagine how old mr frank hammond is i am 40 years old so that tells you how old mr hammond will be you understand yes he trained me i used to wash his car i used to drive him i drive majority most of the workers i drive and i drop people i sign mr frank hammond's check i'm almost like his secretary 
You understand? I was the last apprentice. I did all the chiseling work. Like with this decking work, I'll be the one to do a piping work. They will give me the layout. My senior electrician will tell me, right, do it this way, do it that way. And that's how I learned. You understand? Yes. So quality work is very, very important. Quality work is very, very important. And I take everything in cons into consideration. Plumbing works, electricals. Now, the foreman is a critical person, Stephen O'Pong. Once he's coming to do the casting, he needs to consider all the works that have been done. Carpentry works, steel bending works, plumbing works, and electrical works. He needs to protect each and everyone's work because they are going to do the casting. The wheelbarrows will be running here and there. And they need to make sure by the time they're done casting, they don't damage anything. So the most sensitive person there. If you have someone who doesn't care, he's just coming to take money and go, they will cast. And then later, the plumbing material, the plumbing pipes are broken and they are causing leakages. Electrical pipes, when they put wires, it is not going because it is broken and there's mortar in there. You understand? This is the most sensitive part of the project. If not, you lose a lot of money. They'll finish the casting in the future. You can't do anything. You flush your toilet and there's water leaking in the flow because someone irresponsible was placed on the top of the roof and to cause this devastating havoc. You understand? So I am very passionate about my work. When we get to this stage, I don't joke at all. I am always on my format. Please place your board in a position where the wheelbarrow does not affect the, the pipes and then the electrical pipes. There should be spaces in between the iron rod to suspend them so that they don't compress the electrical pipes. Electrical pipes, circular bosses should be placed together with a nail or should be held in place with a nail so that they don't shift from their original positions. You understand? And the quality of the pipe is, is important. The quality of the pipe is important because the pressure that comes on top, they should be able to withstand all the pressures. This is the spiral. Look at the spiral stack. So beautiful. Neatly designed by my carpenter, Joshua Adam. You understand? And the weaving is by my still fixer, Mr. Isaac Gomado. A fantastic, a fantastic gentleman. Okay, they did a wonderful job. This wasn't part of the actual design. It was just a regular staircase. But we decided to move because the client requested it at the last minute. And everybody was telling me, oh, it's not possible. I told them all things are possible. Yes, all things are possible. So Joshua Adam had to go to the site, take measurement, do all the calculations, and do some arithmetic, and then we decided to come up with the design. It's beautiful. You understand? We try to make our clients happy. Casting of flows takes um, a day or two, depending on the size and capacity of the flow work. In this flow work, we had to go even up to three days. We could have used two days, but due to some few challenges, you understand, we had to go up to three days, but everything was okay. Everything was fine. Are you with me? Yes. Our concrete, the ratio and everything. In episode 14, I took my time and I explained the ratio of the casting. But someone has asked a question and I felt so bad as though he did not even pay time to listen to the video. I did mention that the ratio of the casting is 211. 2-1-1. Two wheelbarrows of sand, one wheelbarrow of stones, one bag of cement. And then they will misquote me in the comment section. Are you with me? So it's 211. 211. Two, two free barrels of sand. One free barrel of chippings or stones. And one bag of cement. 211. Two free barrels of sand and yeah, let me let me speak I be because maybe I'm going to so two free barrels of sand as you can see it's two two you can see two one so two free barrels of sand is there and one free barrels of chippings is there so the bag of cement is pending two one 
one so that your flow decking will be rich it should be rich very very rich so once they remove the board everything looks nice and beautiful okay so this brings us to the end of episode 16. i know you've learned something share it to your friends so that we get all motivated and inspired are you with me if you need my help you can write to me if you need an estimate you can write to me if you want me to build your house please write to me and i'm always there to help and support everyone the vulnerable anybody at all from me to you shalom god bless you wherever you are bye bye